Hello, my name is Voya and welcome to my deep guide. This is going to be a series of how to tutorials, how to best maximize your remarkable one or two paper tablet. One of the modes that uh, Remarkable Platform has uh, is in the share menu, it's called Live View and it's been beta since the, ca since the Remarkable 1 came out. So, uh, but even though it is still in beta, it actually has improved over time quite significantly and now it's starting to work really good. What that offers you is the ability to actually share the screen in real time on a PC or a Mac and basically share with other people what it is that you are writing, drawing or doing on the tablet itself in real time. Now, the way it actually works, you have two requirements. First of all, uh, your device has to be connected on the Wi-Fi. Second of all, uh, so you have to be uh, logged into the account. It only works with the account. It cannot work um, uh, outside of the account. Second of all, you need to also have your uh, desktop app, not the mobile app, only the desktop app needs to be running. And once it does, then you can actually go into share, live view beta, and then it's now connecting. Once the connection is established, in the desktop app, you will get a request. So accept live view request, you can just click on accept. And once the connection has been established, you will see basically now the desktop app is showing my remark screen and this is a very very useful um, way of doing these things yes there are some inadequacies here so as you can see on the screen here uh, I'm writing on the line however in the app itself the the line the second line is not aligned with the template I think that's something that happened uh, with the latest uh, app update because I haven't really seen it like this before so maybe some kind of scaling is off that's what it looks like the, the, the template is a little bit different than it was here because if I write a square here that's spanning from between two lines you can see that it's displaced and not scaled correctly. So uh, my suspicion is that the um, template itself is not translating correctly onto the desktop app. However, hopefully they'll fix that soon because uh, up until this version, I've been able to actually use this quite successfully. And um, yeah, it's a very useful way of sharing what it is that you do. And then you can further use this desktop app and the computer can be then hooked up to the projector and then and that's basically what I use to kind of show to the students dependencies, uh, what leads into another thing, and then interactively kind of drawing and mapping things out and basically showing how things work so that we can actually interactively show what's going on and what are the dependencies or you can even draw or whatever it is that you may want. It's a very, very useful way of sharing your screen to the outside world uh, in many ways that you might see fit. One of the most important limitations as far as the live view goes is, of course, it's dependent on uh, internet connection, but that's a given. But the limitation for me, the biggest one is that it doesn't share the uh, screen of the Remarkable itself. No, it is a shared session per document. Now, for example, I can turn live view off and I can still even, uh, I can do the same thing with the uh, documents. So I can, for example, go to, let's say, read on Remarkable, and maybe I can choose this one, and then I can go and say, um, let's, let's share again. So live view beta, and I'm gonna wait until I get the request. I will accept the request again. And now I actually have this. And you can see that the PDF is actually uh, translating to be in color. So it is in color and it's a completely normal, natural looking PDF. And it works uh, kind of as it should. However, depending on how heavy the document is, I've noticed that um, it doesn't really translate that well <laughs> for swiping pages and things like that. So it's not really 
the most uh, awesome way of sharing things when a heavy document is uh, loaded. So that's something that I would most definitely avoid because it seems like it doesn't really like that uh, pretty much at all. And uh, unfortunately, you can only do that on PDFs. So you cannot share um, EPUB because it's a text format. So you're kind of limited with which documents will work properly. If you do want to share the documents uh, um, via live view, then I think you're in a much better position to use uh, not so media heavy uh, documents themselves. That I found in my experience it works much better, much more reliably, but when you have a document that's riddled with images or it's very heavy, then yeah, definitely uh, it works, but the delay is really, really slow. For me personally, I think it works best with the notebooks and that's how I use it most of the time. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe and see you next time. Bye!